Hi, this is John. Welcome back to Thomcraft Quick for Thomcraft version 6. In the last episode, we learned about theory crafting. Let's see what else is in the Thomonomicon. We have the option to either pursue discovering alchemy or going into celestial observation. I'm going to go ahead and pursue discovering alchemy. So in this page, you can see I already have the complete button. We require an observation in alchemy and observation fundamentals. And if you've been scanning things, you're going to have plenty of observations most of the time. Remember, just scan every item you craft, every item you find, and you'll get plenty. I've got almost 10 in everything right now. So, you know, pretty easy to get observations if you scan things. Let's go ahead and hit complete. Now it tells us we need to make a crucible. A crucible is a cauldron where we throw Salus Mundus on there. So let's go ahead and and make one of those. I've got some Salus Mundus, I've got a cauldron. Let's go ahead and place that down and toss our Salus Mundus on there. There we go, now we have a crucible. Again, don't forget to scan things. Now, to use the crucible, we have to put water in it and we need a heat source. Right now, the only heat source I'll be able to have are things that would burn my wood house down. So I'm gonna have to move this to use it. So let's go move the crucible and we'll see how it works. Okay, so for now, I'll just place the crucible here. We're really going to use lava for a heat source. I'll put the crucible above that. I've got some water over here so I can put that in the crucible. And a few seconds later, the water should start bubbling. There we go, it does. So let's open the Thalmanomicon and go to Discovering Alchemy. Let's go ahead and hit complete. We did build our crucible. And now we've research completed discovering alchemy. It tells us how to make yellow niter. And it opens up a brand new tab on the Thalmanomicon, the alchemy tab. So in here, we've got basic alchemy. So let's go into here. And there's nothing you need to do for this. You just get it as soon as you open the research. So it tells you how to make a few things and tells you how to use the crucible. So again, Place crucible over heat source, add water, add ingredients, throw in catalyst. So, let's make some yellow niter, because that is a heat source that would not burn my house down. So, we need 10 ignis, 10 lux, and 10 potentia. These are aspects of magic, and they can be found in every item in the game. This is our catalyst, the glowstone dust. So, if my crucible had 10 ignis, 10 lux, and 10 potentia, and I tossed in some glowstone dust, I would get niter out of it. So how do you get aspects in the crucible? Simple, you toss items into it. So coal, for instance, has 10 potentia and 10 ignis. Torches have five lux each. They also have some ignis and potentia, but I will usually use coal because that's got everything I need. So one piece of coal and two torches with a piece of glowstone dust should be enough to get me a single piece of niter. Let's see how it works. I'm going to drop items in, drop the coal, drop the torches, drop the glowstone. There we go, I have my niter. I'm also gonna drop these quartz slivers in here. And notice I got some ignis and potentia V crystals. If we go back into our Thalmanomicon, you can see it tells you how to make V crystals. You drop a quartz sliver into a crucible with, and it says tenebrate, but it's literally, oh, there we go, there's more pages. Uh, any aspect will do, and will make you a V crystal of that aspect. So this is one way to get more V crystals rather than finding them out in the world. So again, I've got a primal one and a compound one for potentia. We'll go ahead and leave those like they are right now. I'll go ahead and scan my niter. And now I can bring my crucible back inside. One thing I probably forgot to mention is how you make quartz slivers. Well, uh, you get quartz slivers from nether quartz. So if you have nether quartz, uh, the recipe for that is simply you get nine for each piece of nether quartz, you get nine quartz slivers. So that's where I got those from. And when you toss it into your crucible to get a V crystal, you need twice of the aspect to get one crystal. So that's why I got one each, even though I had two torches that had one ignis and one potentia apiece. All right, so let's place down our niter, and let's place down our crucible, 
and I'm gonna need some kind of water source so let me go find one real quick okay so I've made a temporary infinite water source in here we'll just go ahead and dump that in here and you can see the niter will not burn the house down however it will heat up the water just like we had lava or you know burning netherrack or something so there we go that covers the basics of alchemy thanks for watching see you next time